I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just having fun at this point. Oh, yeah. It's four in the morning. Why get too serious? All right, you ready? Yep. All right, I'm going to start off with a tactical. Who's going to do yeah, a it's four in the morning here, too. And I don't think it's actually going to matter, but I will just uh, scan if it does. So let me press the new scan button. Bam! Scan. Then uh, the cube cube is going to do a six straight. Uh, and I think I'm out of range of target lock. Yep. So, but oh yeah, it's a red maneuver, so it gets an auxiliary token. Click the little Ooh. button. Oh right. I should click the little. I keep seeing these things. Like I have to put these on my ship. Uh, that button. I did it. And then everybody of mine. We yep. Got to do it in the order. Start sure do. Bank left two. Ah, uh, this is the part where I'm interested to see if you if you did it right. Yeah, out of range. No, no action, I guess. Fair enough. Not like I'm gonna shoot you. You're not gonna shoot me. I'm so what? Probably not this turn. Straight uh, four. Okay. Uh, I still think you're out of range, but let's yeah. just... Yep, just barely, but yeah. And so... Yeah, okay, so that's... This one. Oh, yes, that's that one. And then Riker's yeah. also going to go for... Oh, he's also... Alright. I love how you say your ships have synergy, and the first thing you do is split them up. That's or at least look like it. Well, they can't... Like, this guy's going in this direction now. I'm, fa I'm fanning out. It's an development. You don't fan out with the Federation. <laughs> they all go this in separate directions. This is Mir. They all go in separate directions. So he should be going this way. He should be going like this way, and he should be going like that way. And then they all do their own thing. <laughs> that's, how, that's how they would do. And uh, four straight for Mr. Dude in the back. I don't think I'm in range for anything. Nope. Nope. So that is in that turn. Maneuvers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... Uh, that might be... No, I think that's going to be okay. Oh yeah, after my uh, scan token. <laughs> that way. <sighs> Not what I want to do. So. I should suggest. All your ships should turn right. <laughs> Tell us early. I, I, my original maneuvers, I had them all set to turn right. And I was like, no, <laughs> that's not. Ready? Yep. I'll start with the Tattle Cube, who's going to do a three turn left. I wonder if this button works. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Uh, I think I'm out of range to do target locks and things. Yep. So instead, I'm just going to scan with the scan button. And then it's going to the cube is going to do a one turn left. Uh which is a green maneuver. Stress, yeah. Yep. Let me delete that. And uh I think I'm still out of range. Very so it's bad. also going to scan. Go for it. Okay, Beverly. Doing a one straight. We're going to take them head on. Battle station. Hmm? Man, it's so weird to see somebody use a battle station. Like, I've never... This is the, like, I haven't played Star Trek Attack Wing, you know, in a while. Like, this is the first time somebody's actually used a battle station's action. 
Oh, I love my battle stations, especially when you don't have that many dice. Yeah. Well, that's why I like target locks, because I just reroll all of them. Defensively, if I need to. Yeah. Bank left one. Mm-hmm. That is with, uh, yep. That was wrong, dude. Yep. I think it's supposed to be switched. Uh, no, that that's right. Uh, well, Six, seven, nine. Oh, I'm sorry, but right, okay, like I said, it's early in the morning. Riker was supposed to do one, um, then Worf was supposed to do two, but that's okay. We'll see. We'll see if this works. You, you haven't actually said John Archer's action yet. Yeah. He's going to a target lock. All right. Sure. Riker. Uh, don't forget to place the uh, corresponding one on your, your ship. Nope. You just look at the target lock. Ah, uh, that's in range. Yep. Well, he'll target lock then. Alright. It's a corresponding target lock. Mm hmm. Oh, you put them over there. Okay, I see. Mm hmm. Going to battle station. Yeah, so I, I, I'll, I guess I'll do the same. Just to make it easier for later. No, okay, I have to keep track of both halves of my target lock and who goes where. If I just simply name the target lock whose ship it goes with. Oh, alright. Well, I, I always do my cube as A and my tactical cube as B. Alright. So good. Good, good. Uh, Picard is going to scan, and the ship's going to battle station. Mm -hmm. And uh, start shooting. Yes, the fun putt. Uh, so, so I actually got a agility dice. Yeah, except you have a scan, so I don't. Yeah. I know. <laughs> One, two, three, and then two for my upgrades. outside of your forward firing arc, I could choose any number of my attack dice and re-roll them. You might want to re- actually, I can't attack you anyways. You might as well re-roll both, roll both of them. Actually, oh, no, I keep the battle them. stations. I know. <laughs> yeah. That's why I do this. And battle stations? Okay, and then spend the battle station. Yep. And your tar- uh, yeah, you didn't you have, you didn't have to use your target lock. Uh, so it's five damage to the cube? Uh? Five damage to the cube, I believe? Yes, five damage to the cube. All right, so it is going to go down to five shields. Mr. Riker? Nope. He's also going to shoot at the cube. Mm -hmm. He does not have a scan, however. Well. No, he does not. So I'm going to get my muddy one agility die. I will spend my target lock to reroll this time. Mm -hmm. And then spend the battle station. So I have lost all my shields. Dun dun dun. Everything's going according to plan. Yes, all it was according to plan. Um, then Mr. Archer back here is going to fire mm -hmm. his five dice. Wait, who's the one at range two? Oh, I actually didn't get an agility dice against him. I got an agility dice against John Archer. And he will spend his target lock. Mm hmm. That's unfortunate. Three. My one agility die. Nope. So any uh, just hits or all any crits? Two hits and a crit. Okay. So hits, hits, and the next. Oh, I managed to attack. Automatically misses. Oh. No, it's over here. Okay, thank you. What? I didn't move it. It's just when this attack automatically misses. I heard two dice. It's range mm -hmm. three, so you do get a evade die. Yep. Who are you attacking, by the way? A uh, Beverly. Uh, against the, the cube? I don't even need to spend my battle station. And so that's two more damage? Two more damage. Alright, so my turn, I believe. Yep. The cube is going to attack and automatically miss. Because of that uh, critical damage. 
And the tactical cube, I believe, is out of range. Yes. All right. So far, everything is going according to plan. I know that sounds silly, but I actually expected up to, everything up to this point. All right. Now, for the next part of my master plan. Let me just make sure. Yep. And yep. Uh. I just can't get enough how they actually captured each detail of the ship. Yep. Well, it's... When you do 3D art as long as I have, you learn where to cheat. <laughs> they, could, they could put, like, more lighting on the board cube. Can't do lighting in Tabletop Simulator, unfortunately. Yeah. Wait, let me just make sure I did this one right. Okay, good. The galaxy class could be fixed. Hmm. Fixed. Sorry, that took so long. A lot of complex no maneuvers. All right, ready? Force ready for the tactical cube. Perfect. And its action is going to be to target lock John Luke Picard. Uh, which one's Picard? This one? Uh, the, 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 the Constitution. Yep. And then the cube is going to do a three straight right, well, three right turn. Uh, I wonder if this works. Yep, perfect. Yep. And then for its action, uh, because I've lost all my shields, I'm going to deploy the sphere. Okay. Do you have to do it behind? No, I can choose any of the four sides because it's a cube. Okay. The only downside is that it's going to be facing this way to start off with. Towards the edge of the board. Okay. I mean, theoretically, I could have put it behind me, I guess, like over here, but uh, well, that was my action for my cube, so it's now the turn of you. Okay. She's going to go three straight because I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> one. Hi. Hi. Action. I don't suppose you have like a barrel roll or something. Oh, no. I want to evade. All right. Then departure. Mm hmm. One. Welcome to the party. Is action. Who's on the sphere? The queen? Uh, yeah, the queen. Down with the queen. <laughs> oh, Riker. Forward one. Oh, my, I should have done that. I don't know. Oh, that's a bumper, dude. Yeah, it's a bump. All right. And uh, Jean Luc. Free action, which is a. I don't. I thought you don't get free oh, action. That's right. You that's right. You uh, yeah, if you bump, you can't do a free action. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yep. Mr. Jean-Luc. Jean you know, I got a comic book from the um, comic book store I go to, and they have on the front cover 
John Luke Picard, uniform torn, buffed, and Data has a has Borg modifications on him. Huh. And Troy is just some slut. <laughs> like she like she was gone uh picked up from a Orion prison camp. All right. Uh, okay. Well, on that note, why don't Picard shoot at us? <laughs> Picard's want to shoot with six die. Mm-hmm. Shoot at the cube. Yeah, I, I have a feeling. Board. Uh, you're going to uh, use the bow station, so you're going to save it. Nope, he's going to use the ship's action to re-roll his three dice here. All right. Come on, three crits. Well, two hits is pretty good. And spend the battle station, I guess, to convert that into a hit. Uh, so it's five total? Five total. One's a crit. Or sorry, two's a crit. That is enough to kill the cube. Yay. Cube is the dead. And that's why I released the sphere before that. But this is why I thought if you blow up, you could release the sphere automatically. I can, but then you'd still be able to shoot it this turn. Ah. Uh. I don't, you have to place it towards the center. Yeah. If you, it's... Anyways, uh, you, you keep going with your shooting. and I'll, Okay, uh... okay. Um, seven, Riker. He's going to fire his six dice. Two, mm -hmm. three, four, six. And he has no actions or abilities or anything that fancifies the dice. Uh, he's shooting out the, the tactical? Yeah, he's shooting out the tactical. All right. Three hits, um, not bad. Three. Okay. So the tactical loses three shields, goes down to four. Archer, he gets his six dice. Mm -hmm. And once again, I don't have a target lock because instead of targeting the stupid big cube. Oh well. Hi. Well, I mean, that's still pretty good. So, four, four hits. That removes all his shields. And Beverly doesn't have a shot. Right. Alright, so I'm going to... Actually, theoretically, the sphere would have shot before uh, Beverly, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm sorry, time. yeah. It doesn't really matter, as I said. Uh, anyway, sphere's going to shoot John Luke Picard. A.K.A. Lacutus. A.K.A. Well, I mean... He'll, he'll be Lacutus once I blow up his ship. Uh, so I don't have any target locks this turn, so three hits and a crit. They die? Mm-hmm. Ah, nice. Aid. So two hits and a crit. Three shields. Three shields. I'm okay with that. Uh, what, what's your thing doing again? Right, it's an action. Okay. Uh, then the tactical cube's going to shoot at Jean-Luc Picard with seven dice okay. and a target lock. Uh, I'm going to target lock. Be rolling these three. Uh, so that's five hits. Evade. So four hits. Okay, so he's dead. Excellent. That's for all, I believe. Yep, yep he does. It's in my card. Okay. Maneuvers. Yep. Oh, I have to. Uh, I have to sync this one, I guess. Actually, I need a, another maneuver dial, I guess. Or can I sync this one? Oh, I can you, sync this you one. Can reuse. Yeah, you can reuse cycle. There we go. Sync. Use, reuse, recycle. Yep. All right. So. Thanks, kid. Uh. And then um, yeah, I go like that, and then uh, will that pass it though? Is the question. I think I should be okay. Is 
<laughs> Thank you. Do you uh, have any mirror clip clip sounds? <laughs> uh, this, I, think um, this is, I think this is overkill, but I'm gonna do it. That was actually on the uh, on uh, YouTube. Huh. I do want the uh, the board hailing frequency. So when I go to the uh, tournament, I could play it. Yeah. I th oh wait. Let me make sure I'm not making a huge mistake. Okay. Good. Boop. Let's just make sure you're in range one of me right now. Okay. You are good. <laughs> Apparently, you're getting reinforcements. <laughs> Does that mean I can upgrade my cube to the super cube? Uh, <laughs> no, I, would totally do, I would totally do that trade. Armada 2. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Uh, so the tactical cube has to start in this case. So it's going to do a three left. Uh, I guess they have to do three and then left. left. Yep. Uh, and its action is going to be, uh, let's see. Let me just put it in here. All right. Who is the next biggest threat? Uh, Biker. that would probably be, uh, I'm actually gonna, oh, that is a really hard choice. Yeah, I'm gonna target Ry Riker. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to take the shot. Uh, so now, now it's uh, Crusher. Uh, actually, Crusher. if you, uh, if you look at the captain skills, it would be Jonathan Archer. What? This is the region's flagship. Um, Crusher, Crusher is five. on. Yeah. Crusher's on five. Yeah. But it's important to note that uh, because you're playing Mirror Universe, you said the sphere has initiative over you, so yes. I'd move so. first and attack first. Yes. So you're going to move Crusher, then I'm going to move my sphere, then you're going to move Archer. Okay. And, so one. Yep. Try again. Just have more feeling. There we go. Yep. In your uh, Yep. So it is going to reverse two. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and its action will be uh, target lock the same dude. Uh, Bam. Have all the target locks. <laughs> Actually, uh, does he have anything cool on him? He does not. Okay. Alright, uh, so Ar Archer's turn? Yep, Archer. Going to do a hard turn too. Mm hmm. Uh, no, you're, you're good. Oh, it's cool. just barely good. Well, it's a red it's... maneuver anyway, so. Oh, alright. Fair enough. Uh, and now Riker. And he's going to also do a hard turn, but three this time. Oh, that probably bumps into somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Not the person I was expecting, but yeah, it yeah. bumped into. There you go. There you go. Plus and he gets a. Uh... All right. Uh, so Rick is going to shoot first. This gets six. Yep, against my zero. Healing. Hey, that works. Uh, so two hits and a crit. So that's uh, three shields from the sphere. Uh, now, sphere have left? Uh, four. Okay. It starts with seven. Uh, so the sphere is going to attack Jonathan Archer with a seven dice and a target lock. Uh, that is definitely a target lock. Uh, see the target lock if it matters. 
Uh, so th three hits and a crit. Hits and a crit. Okay, I get. Uh, as soon as you attack him, I get one either way. Jonathan Archer. Archer. Yeah, Archer. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, evade. So three shields. Yep. Uh, so next up is Archer. He's going to fire his six tiny. Mm-hmm. Sphere. Mm -hmm. I will take a ugh, additional stress token to uh, convert this into a hit. Well, two two hits. Oh yeah, and then convert this into a hit. Yeah. So I lose three more shields. Three. I'm down to one. Yep. One shield. Uh, then it is uh, Beverly. Beverly. Mm -hmm. Range two, I believe. She gets range two. Nice. Range, range two, unless you're typed in the queue. Right, range two. I can't. Yeah. I can't target the cube. And then ah. since she's stressed, she gets an additional two dice. That's pretty funny. It, it's very appropriate for Beverly Crusher when she's more stressed. She's I mean, she's always stressed when she's doing anything. Uh, so two hits it looks like. Two hits. All right. Well, these actually are not part of that. So, she, uh, the sphere loses its last, and it gets a damage. Six hull left. Uh, then finally, the tackle cube is also going to attack John Archer. Uh, is it range one is the question? It is range one. Uh, so seven dice. You probably won't kill him here. All you have to do is five. Uh, and I have a target lock, I believe. I'm sorry, seven. Uh, so I'm going to use the target lock to reroll these three. Come on. Uh, well, that's five. Yeah, I get one of a die. Yep. And so that's five. Five hits. So down to two hole. Oh. Five hits, no crits. No crits. One. Two. And he has two hull left. Mm-hmm. Uh... Let me just check something. So it's you who does it. All right. Ready? Yep. Here so, actually click you first. Let's see if I measured this right. Four straight. What? It's facing the wrong way. Yeah, you turned, remember? I, I turned left. Oh, you turned left. Uh, it was okay, hit undo. Yeah. I undo guess button there. There we go. Um... And this action will be to target lock onto Jonathan Archer. We're going to kill him no matter what. Right. Uh, now it's uh, Crusher's turn. Well, see, I saw that you were facing that way, so I planned my maneuver in case for that. But do you mind if I change that? Yeah, go go for it. Like, okay. Yeah. I guess my ship got turned around somewhere, somehow. Maybe I okay. pressed the wrong button. So yeah, you, you go ahead. Like... It, you, you pretty much could have assumed I was going this way. Because I wasn't backing up. And she's still stressed, so no maneuver or no. Uh, well, you do have to reveal it, though. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to do a. Yeah, yeah, no, like, understand. Turn. Yeah, that's fine. There. Yep. 
Maybe that would have put me right about here. And I figured, oh, look, a green shot. Yep. Anywho, here next. Uh, yep. One straight. Okay, at least it's facing the right direction. Uh, let me just check something. Perfect. One, yeah. uh, it is going to use its queen ability. So it's going to go down to four. And I'm going to disable and steal Tasha Yar. Uh, I'm going to get a disable token, so it's your turn. Okay, next is Archer. He is going to do a gentle turn one. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter because he's already stressed. Uh, that's a bump. Yep. Well, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, really. Uh, is that a... It would have, yeah, it was a great maneuver, so it cleared one stress. Yeah. So he still has one, however. Yes. Uh, and then we have uh, Riker. Is doing a bank right one. So just to be oh. clear, does Tashiar still work when she's disabled, or does she have, do I have to re nope, it? she has to be undisabled. Okay. And he looks like he is also... Yeah, he also dumped. Yeah, but he loses because... Yeah, there you go. Well, all right. Uh, so now we're going to be we're doing a little bit differently. You're going to do all your guys first, mm -hmm. because the fear is down to pilot skill four. Yes. So, Riker so first. So we'll start with Riker. So how much does this cube have left? Uh, the sphere, you mean? Six. And the cube? Uh, the cube has four shields and all of its hull. I'll shoot through. Okay. Um, I guess Riker will attack the sphere. All right. So that's uh, six dice. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's three damage. Right? Uh, yep, three. Okay. Three damage. I have three hull left. Okay. Let's hope uh, Archer can finish him. I'm hoping the opposite, actually. Uh, six dice, though. Six dice. Yeah. Uh, that's I see two. Two. Mm hmm. Two is not three, which means she survives with one health. But, and not even a crit. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Uh, and now Beverly is going to shoot at range two, two. against mm -hmm. the Borg tactical cube. Gets four dice. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reroll that one if you want. Or just, there you go. Yep. So okay. the tactical cube loses a shield, going down to three. Uh, so then it's the Sphere's turn. Um, I have a fairly high chance of killing John Archer with my cube. So the Sphere is going to attack Will Riker. Okay. Uh, range one, so seven dice. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Uh, no target locks or anything. Uh, two hits, two crits. Get up and drop it and see if that, that is. Two hits, two crits. two crits. Two hits and two crits. So, Aid. three shields on three Riker. Shield. Oh, you only have two? So, one, two shields and a crit. Two shields and a crit. Uh, All yeah. right. Watch be a warp core breach or something. <laughs> so did, oh, you just take one more damage. Yep. And then my tactical cube is going to shoot at the guy he has a target lock on. So, seven dice with a target lock. You'd better kill him. Uh, well, that's already th four damage. I think that's already enough to kill, but I can roll. I'm going to target lock anyways, just to be 100% sure he dies. Uh, so that's two hits, uh, three hits, and three crits against uh, John Archer. Hey, maneuvers. All right, so here over there. So uh, yeah, okay. No, there we go. And then uh.
There we go. Dials go. Good. No, oh, my dials disappeared. Uh, did you accidentally delete them along with your other two? Your other I, guy that you deleted? I think I did. Oh, I've actually just got, some, just got some more. I've actually had that yep. bug before. I've had that happen. If I throw it in my hidden area and then I look away and come back, sometimes it disappears. Didn't know if Captain was trying to be helpful and cook one. <laughs> <laughs> no, his finger hasn't moved in a while. It's in the middle of the board. Yep. Oh, it's moving. Yay! At least it blends in. Oh, dude. Uh, you're moving ships. Yeah. Uh, was he there? I think he was a little bit more I, I that can move way, on. I think. I saw where he was. He was... Because he was basically over there because he had bumped into the guy behind him. He was right yeah, there. He... Well, wasn't he over there because he bumped into the... Yeah, I bumped into the region's flagship. Right. Yeah, so I think I think it was more over there. Because the thing is that John Archer was here and it bumped into John Archer. Yeah, but it bumped it's... into him in a way that Archer was something to like about yeah. Yeah, and then it was like over no, like a forty five degrees, but like yeah. that. Because they both yeah. got to do basically the same maneuver. So we can get rid of this one. And it's basically good enough. Like, if it makes a huge difference, we can try to, like, we could just undo a whole bunch of times, but... And now it's two and two. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start off with the tactical cue. And you notice I did a left again. So let's see if it actually does it this time. Uh, so one and then left. Good. Uh, and then its action is going to be to target lock onto uh, Riker. Riker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Riker is the one I was targeting. So you may have a target lock. Uh, then it's the Spear's turn. Yep. Now, I might be out of... Actually, no, I already have a plan. So, it's a one left as well. So, yep, you're facing the right direction. Good. Well done, Queen. Uh, it's action is going to be to undisable Tasha Yar. Ooh, you kidnapped Tasha Yar. I did. Nice. Uh, nice. Yep. So, John Archer is doing it... Uh, Beverly is doing it too, right? Wait, isn't that a red maneuver? Nope, it's a white maneuver. Oh. So no action for her, and then Riker again is going to bump, because I'm not that... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. You make, you make excellent models, so you, you can't be amazing at everything. Actually, this... Oh, yeah, that definitely bumps. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit, though. Just a, just a small bump. On the right side, you're in really close range to attack. I hate to say it, but before <laughs> you guys move... it's going to get it to a free attack. Before yep. you guys moved it around, I think it went to bump. All right, well, let's see if we can kill the right. stupid sphere. Uh, yeah, well... Again, I don't know if it would have really mattered, because he only needs, like, a single point of damage to kill the sphere. And he attacks with two different ships against it. Right. You so... should probably send someone over to kill Tasha Yar first. Well, the right. sphere's on... <laughs> Well, I mean, she's going to shoot, shoot herself in the head, and you're going to feel so sad, you're going to take four dice of damage. Oh, look, it's more than one damage. Uh, so I'm going to shoot at... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to shoot at Riker. Okay. With four dice. Because maybe maybe this will be enough to kill. Uh, one well, damage. one damage. You get to defend against it, so if you have any... I do. Oh, that's right. uh, yeah, one it's just it's just if I'm not in your target lot uh, for firing arc, you get minus two. But I am, so you yeah. have this back. Okay. Uh, well, put that somewhere on the side because it's destroyed, I guess. And the sphere is also destroyed. Yep. Explosion really doesn't get a shot. Uh, which means it's up to the cube, who is going. Actually, uh, let me just quickly check. That's range two. Range two. 
Wait, that's what you're really. Ah, that's a hard choice. I think. No, I'm going to take out Riker. I'm going to do uh, a six days attack against Riker. With target lock. I need to take him out. Uh, so target lock. The target lock wasn't from the sphere? Nope. Uh, the sphere's oh. action was to revive Tashiar. That's right. Uh, so four hits against Riker. I think that's enough to kill regardless. Made so three. Uh, yeah, that's enough to kill him. Yep. And that's why I took Tashiar, so you can shoot me back. Remember not to delete the wrong one, this, both of them this time. All right, down to the final two. Beverly Crusher against a tactical cube. I have full <laughs> confidence in your abilities, but uh, if you want to be assimilated, now would be the time to ask. There we go. Move this to the center. Ready? Ready? Yep. As a surprise to nobody, it is a one left. One left. And this action is going to be, hey, look, a target lock is available. I'm going to do that. Yeah, no surprise. Yeah, I'm assuming you're going to do like a... Two or... come about. You have a two come about. A white maneuver. Yep, what's a white maneuver two? Wow, that is impressive. Reinforcements. Reinforce. Does that mean I get to put reinforcements? <laughs> uh, I think you're in range three, so. Oh range wait. Two. Oh wow. All right, so uh, you get to attack first. Roll your mighty two attack dice. Four, actually, since I'm so stressed. Ah, that's true. true. I'll I'll accept that. Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, so I, I lose all, I, my shields go down to zero and I take a, a hull damage. Way to go, Beverly. So I have uh, eight hull left. Uh, now it's my counterattack because, man, Beverly has to die apparently. Uh, and I have a target lock. Uh, so I'm going to reroll these three with the target lock. Five, uh, yeah, five hits. Okay, I get three evades. Mm -hmm. oh. you get, and you get three evades, so that's two uh, <laughs> two damage. And I'm going to spend the Zia Dax to uh, reduce that to one damage. All right. Oh, no, wait, I have a hole plating. Uh, so I can cancel up to two of those, so. Uh, if you do so. Oh, but you have to place auxiliary for each uh, evade one. you added. Oh, no, okay. I could do, yeah, I could do it up to two. Okay. You stay stressed. It's not like it's a big deal. All right. And uh, next round. Yep. Um. Hmm. Is your back facing arc also considered your primary? No, it's secondary. Uh, no, I don't have a primary out the back. Okay. In that case, I think I'm going to go for this. Ooh, you're playing as the board tonight. All right, All right ready? Four forward. My one forward. Ah. And I'm going to get my target lock back because I love my target locks I and my the, babies. Uh, I had, well, for the actual board game, I had oh, this is unfortunate. Because I'm doing a two turn. <laughs> board campaign I had a strong suspicion you were expecting me to go super key. fast. But I'm in your uh, back facing arc, so at least. Here's I have all your auxiliary tokens. You love them. Yeah, but I can't uh, shoot at my back. You can't? No, you can never shoot at your primary out your back. So you just can't shoot, you don't. Can't shoot out your back arc? No. Oh. Oh. That's you different. You can only shoot your primary out your front arc. In, 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 in X-Wing, like, if something has I a back arc like this, like it's highlighted, um, basically it means that it has, like, a backwards facing attack. Right, right. Well, in an attack wing, only secondary weapons can be fired out the back arc. 
Ah, I see. Well, anyways, I'm going to shoot seven dice at your back with a uh, yeah. target lock. Okay, this might hurt. Uh, so, so far I have three hits and a crit, but I'm going to use a target lock to get even more damage. Hopefully. Uh, so that's four hits Ow. and two crits. Hey, roll. Lucky so many times. So that's how much? I have four hits and two crits currently. Reduce one of those. Well, you only have three hulls, so you're going to have to do another than that. Our tokens cancel another two, then I take two damage, or a hit and a crit. Wait, you didn't roll any defense. How do you negate four of the attacks, the four of the things? It's tall plating. So that gets two of them. So you're down to four damage. Uh, oh, like, you also use Jets, yeah. So that's, you're taking three damage. Oh, still three? I thought I canceled yeah. one. Oh. oh well. well, you didn't do a green maneuver, so. You, you, you negated a total of three with between the two cards. No, I thought, I knew I didn't. I rolled dip, 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 dip on the evades. I thought there was enough. Nah. Well, the tactical cube wins. <laughs> or... If only I had a prize ship to give you. <laughs> Uh, that that game could have gone completely differently if I if flown better. One, if you'd gone the one uh, more damage on here the you spear. Go. Prize ship. Yay! <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna make my own prize ship. There we go. A properly sized tactical cube. 